Good day. You are welcome to Remax Innovative Farms once again. Uh, we, have, we promise to be showing you some content that you really love. We are in Kano now presently. We are here to show you how the how the market looks like here. We are in the ram market. We have, they sell ram, they sell goats, and they also sell cow. So there are a lot of sessions here. So as we are going here, this, this is the entrance of the market now. So we are going to show you the different sections, the, the, so the categories, the marketplace, the goat section, the ram section. We are also going to show you the cow section. Uh, we are going to talk about what the current price of the market is saying. And we are also going to let you know uh, some important things, some important factors in the market. Now look at uh, this particular set of goat here. If you look at it very well, you will notice that we have only goat arranged in a place. And at the same time, we have cow, uh, sorry, we have ram in a particular place also. So in this, in the market, generally, yeah, the guy you saw clapping is one of our customers. So he was happy to see us back in the market. So if you look at this market very well, you notice that we have goat session and we have ram session very well. So now look at those goats and uh, the ram. If you notice, this is one of the biggest ram in the market. Yes, as at now, this is one of the biggest for now. But during the seller, people will bring out the biggest ram. They will bring them out for people to buy. So uh, in this market, there is something I wanted to note. In this market, they are arranged. Those rams are arranged according to their size. They are arranged according to their gender. They don't mix things together. You don't join male, uh, the ram and sheep together because you know whenever there is uh, male and you had a female to eat, there will be a problem. Like in human setting also. So the same thing with the goats and ram. So they don't put ram and sheep together. Look at this one. Can you see they are sheep? Look at this one too. This, these are sheep. Can you see? This is the prayer section where they pray during the time of prayer. This is sheep. This is another sheep. So, sheep and ram, they are tied in different places. Ram and uh, goat, they are also tied in different places. So, look at them here. Can you see these are goats? They have another section entirely for goats. Those are rams, rather. So, they have another sections for, for goats. So, you notice there is a particular rope there. They are used to tie... Uh, the ram on the leg, not neck. Yes, they don't tie. Look at this one now. They are just bringing it into the market. Look at this. They are tying them on the like the leg, not neck. Can you see? Because if you tie the rope on the neck, <laughs> they will get suffocated and they will die. They will die. So you need to be you need to be very very careful. Even if you are taking it to where you are going. Now look at this place now. If you notice this. You notice they are putting it on their neck yes the reason why you are seeing this is somebody bought everything these are the signs that they've bought it look at the back of the of the goat i know i told you in the first place that you can never see ram and goat together yes they don't put them together but it, because this person is buying both together so he had to join everyone every uh all the goats and ram together in a place so that they will be able to know that okay somebody has bought this look at it look at the sign on the back so in this market, you need to be very, very careful with your goods. Like whatsoever you buy in the market, you need to put sign or you assign some guys to stay with them if you are coming alone. And that is why it is advisable to come with your friends or your colleague. So I remember there was a particular day I lost a phone in this market. I don't know if it was stolen or, or I was the one that lost it. Anyhow, so you just need to be very careful. And with your money also, you have to be very very vigilant you don't know the person that is following you up and down and uh, we are moving to the cow session now this is the uh, uh, uh outside of the market the ram market now if you look at if you look at it very well now ram gold and cow can never be sectioned in, in the same place yes because of disasters cow can get angry anytime any moment even the person who did it they can injure the person and turn out to be violent so the the section cow in another place 
this is where the cow is being sectioned and they have the, the outside people are very nice they are very friendly though it's because they want they want to collect your money you, you understand so the cow are also cheap in this market you can see cow of eighty thousand naira, era hundred thousand naira. era this particular cow is going here you can see it at the rate of 150 150,000 naira. but you need to consider all those stuff to transport it to your location maybe southwest or any other place you are going yeah this market is very very big yes this market is very very big as you are looking at it this way uh if you look at all those the the, the stick that they peg on the ground each particular stick it can hold up to six cow in this market during the time of salah if you come back to this market you won't be able to pass through this particular place that i'm showing you now that they are selling uh suya kai oh boy that is the place we used to enjoy ourselves okay let me show you one of the biggest cow in this market i'll also show you one of the smallest ram uh so smallest cow in this market that cow you just saw just now is one of the biggest cow in this market can you see <laughs> people were looking at the cow at home oh boy so they are very friendly as i was saying and just need to know how to negotiate very well if they notice you are a stranger my brother you can buy a cow of hundred thousand naira at the rate of two hundred thousand naira based on the fact that you don't know how to negotiate so if you are coming to this particular market and you can't speak the language it will be very difficult to negotiate with them so unless maybe you uh you pay some guys to to negotiate on your behalf or you come along with a partner that can speak the language very well so looking at this market now if you see if you notice if you notice very well it, the market is very dry one of the reasons why it is very dry at this particular time is because uh you know i told you we are in kano and this place is very close to castina the castina market has been shut down the market was shut down as a result of banditry in the in the state i mean castina state and most of these people in castina they bring down their cow to this market to sell and if you can see very well this market is very dry like very very dry so at this present moment the price of cow and ram and goats are very expensive now like if you if you know if you see if you can see the ram of the ram you are buying at the rate of twenty thousand naira and now thirty six thousand naira now like i promise this is the shortest or the smallest cow in this market can you see it now is it in grass i think maybe they sold the mother so this is the smallest cow in this market please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so please kindly subscribe just press the button that red button that you are seeing over there please press it subscribe to this channel please thanks once again in case you have any question to ask please let us know in the comment section thanks for watching